what happens when you use the like cold kajal side so much that it's like a little nub. Of course I had to smell them and they're stanky. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got more new drugstore makeup to share with you guys today. I already posted one new at the drugstore haul and first impressions video recently and I mentioned in that one that there may be more coming because as you guys know, this is a time of year when there's just lots of new good stuff in the drugstore, which makes me so excited. So I've got some good things to share with you guys and some thoughts on them already. So let's jump into it. So first off, Wet n Wild has some new brushes. So does Revlon, but I grabbed the um, crease brush and asked the girl if she could check the price. And it was like either $9.99 or $10.99. So those are, and that was for the eye brush. They had like a blush brush and a big powder brush. So I'm guessing those would be like $15, $20, something like that. She said that they're super soft, like the brand rep had come in. And so I hear good things about the Revlon brushes that they're really nice and very soft, but they're kind of up there in price. So this little guy was only 99 cents from Wet n Well. And it's the like small concealer brush. I got this to use for like just packing on color on my lid, like, you know, pigments and eyeshadow and stuff like that because I love using concealer brushes for that but it's really cute. I mean, it's got this little like divot in it so it's easier to like hold on to or whatever. And I like that it's white and pink, so it's cute and it was cheap. It wasn't like $9 for this brush. So I don't know, I may try the Revlon ones at some point, but I thought that was kind of high priced for those. And I was really excited to find the new mascara from CoverGirl. You guys know my love for CoverGirl mascaras. They're just my favorites. So this is the newest one. This is the Plumpify Blast Pro Mascara says extreme plump plus lift, 50 times volume. So this is what the wand looks like. So it's a really fat wand and kind of like windy looking. Um, I don't know, I'm still deciding how I feel about this mascara. First off, it was expensive, $11.79. So almost $12 for this mascara. I found this at Walgreens. Um, and I mean, just using it a couple of times, it does give volume. It's a really fat wand. So, which is fine. It does give volume, but not really a lot of length. I mean, it doesn't say that it gives length. It really just talks about volume. But I don't think that it gives any more volume than their other ones. I actually prefer their other mascaras so far. So, in my mind, it's kind of like, so far I'm thinking not as good as the other ones, but just more expensive. So I don't know. Let me know if you've tried this, what you think about it. And then Maybelline has some new color tattoo eyeshadow crayons. These are called the Color Tattoo Up to 24 Hour Concentrated Crayons. And I got the shade 715 Lavish Lavender. So I did use this the other day and I like it. I mean, it, you know, it's just kind of like your basic eyeshadow crayon. I don't notice that it's really any different than their color tattoos in the pot. Um, seems pretty comparable. This one's kind of like a silvery lavender color and it does maybe looks, look like it has some kind of like micro shimmer in it, but I think it's really pretty. This was $6.99 and so far I like them. I think that they seem nice. And then Rimmel also has some new eyeshadow crayons. So it's kind of a two-sided deal. So the top side is an eyeshadow crayon and then the bottom is like a coal sort of a pencil. Yeah, Cole Kajal down here and then eyeshadow up here it says. So these are the Rimmel London Magnifies Intense Stay True Color Long Lasting Wear. And then it says eyeshadow and Cole Kajal. So I got the shades Pink and Purple Rain. That's this one. And then this one is in Kissed by a Rose Gold. So cute, let me swatch these for you. Okay, so there are those. I really like the rose gold one. The pink and purple rain, the eyeshadow crayon side is a little bit sheer and then it doesn't build on itself super nicely. Um, but I like the coal side of that one. I'm actually wearing the, the pink and purple rain on my lower lash line and it worked okay. I just prefer the rose gold one. So yeah, I think those are pretty cool. I don't know if I already said, but they're $6.99. My only thought with them though is like, what happens when you use the like cold kajal side so much that it's like a little nub. So then it's all flattened and then it's not like an eyeshadow pencil anymore. You know what I mean? How does that work? Let me know how like, cause I know Physicians Formula has some like these, but I've never, I've never gotten any of those because I always thought that like what happens when that happens? 
let me know what you do. And then Milani has some new eyeshadow palettes. So I think there were four different um, color choices. So I chose this one, which is in Earthy Elements. These were $9.99 each, so they're kind of like up there in price. But you do get, you know, quite a bit in the actual palette. Like you get a lot of different colors. And I'm wearing some of these on my eyes today, but I have other things mixed with them. So it's not like you're getting a true representation of this specific palette. But um, I wanted to at least, you know, use them. I've used them a couple of times and the formula of them seems pretty nice. Actually, I think they are nicer on the eyes and in application than they are in a swatch. In a swatch, I think they're just kind of like, okay. But when I've used them on my eyes, I like them a lot better. So let me show you swatches. Okay, so I take it back. These are swatching really nicely. <laughs> I'm thinking that these are the type of eyeshadows where you kind of have to get past the initial layer. Because I remember when I first initially swatched these, I was taking pictures from my Instagram and I thought, oh, they're okay. Like they seemed fine, but not super impressive. But then I used them on my eyes and I liked them better on my eyes than in swatches, but now swatching them here, they're really nice. So I think it's just that kind of deal. You kind of have to get past that initial layer and then you have a lot more pigment underneath, but that's really pretty. If you like warm eyeshadows, these are kind of more rare colors to find in the drugstore. So I think this is a really nice palette. There were two very neutral palettes and then there was one that was kind of more of a smoky and had a little bit of blue in it so I went with the kind of like warm earthy colors. And then we've got several new contour palettes in the drugstore which is really exciting. First off this one is from L'Oreal. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Contour Contour and Highlight Palette. So that's what it looks like. They had I think three different colors so I got light and this was expensive. This was like $12.99 so I thought that was really pricey especially for the size of this stupid pan. Like that, you get that for $12.99? That's overpriced. But anyway, um, I've used this a couple times. This is really nice. They're very soft, but not too soft. Just where they have a really nice texture where they, they blend nicely into the skin. Um, this bronzer is really light, really light. But if you are super fair, then, you know, it's hard to find a bronzer that works. You know what I mean? So I think it's nice that there's an option now for super light complexions, but then there's also the darker options for deeper complexions. So I think it's really nice and it's a um, more of a cool toned bronzer. So great for contouring. I also kind of like swirled these together too and kind of like warmed up um, like my forehead and stuff. I'm not wearing this today, but I wore this the other day to try it out. I think it's nice. Other than the price being too high in my opinion, I think it seems really nice quality. So yeah, there's that. And then the other contour palettes that I found were from Rimmel. These were only $6.99, so I thought that was a much better price. I really like the packaging on them. First off, I just bought the two lighter colors, which are Golden Sands is the lightest, and then the middle color is Coral Glow. So first off, I bought those two, brought them home, tried them, and then I wish I would have bought the third one. So I went back and got the third one, which is Golden Bronze. So yeah, really pretty. And just so you know, I found all of this stuff at Walgreens. So if you're trying to like hunt some of this stuff down, I found all of these items at Walgreens. So let me swatch these for you. Okay, so this first one here is Golden Sands. So in this one, the bronzer is pretty warm toned. Um, and the blush is a very like kind of shimmery sort of pink. It's really pretty. I love the blush. And then the highlight is kind of like a pinky sort of a highlight. And then this one is Coral Glow. So you can see that the bronzer in this one is a lot more neutral toned versus how warm that one is. And then the blush in this one is kind of more of like a satin matte sort of a finish. I like this one, but it does take some building. These first two do take some building, but then the third one, this one is in Golden Bronze. So this one packs a lot more punch than the other two. So the bronzer is a lot darker, the blush is a lot more vibrant, the highlight is a little bit hard to see in this one. I don't know, it's kind of more of like a subtle golden sort of a highlight, so the highlight in that one isn't quite as impressive. So I don't know, overall, things I notice about these, they do um, kick up products, so they are pretty powdery. They do develop hard pan, which I don't know why that happens, but these are doing that. But overall, I think for $7, I like them. I mean, I think that they're nice on the skin. I think they perform pretty nicely. I like the packaging. I think they're really cute. And I love that they each have their own home. 
like it just drives me crazy like in the L'Oreal one and others where they like share a pan no 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 they need their own home so I'm glad that they have their own home in these but overall I think that they're pretty nice especially for seven dollars you know they get the job done especially on the skin and then lastly Maybelline has some new lip products these are the vivid matte liquid and I just got one shade for now I got the color five nude thrill so what I'm wearing on my lips right now first off I love this color it's just a beautiful nude where it's not like a concealer nude. It's still neutral, it's still nude, but it's not like a concealer nude where it washes you out, still has some color, it's kind of warm toned, so I love this shade. Now the first thing I noticed about these, of course I had to smell them, and they're stanky. Oh yeah, that's bad. Um, it's kind of a perfumey type of a scent. It actually reminds me a lot of, and it might be the exact same scent as the Color Elixir glosses from Maybelline. So if you can handle that scent, I think you'll be okay with these. I just don't know why they do that. Like, go with vanilla. Don't, I, I don't know. Go with vanilla, try that. If that doesn't work, then just leave it alone. Like, don't go with stinky, perfumey, nasty smells. That's never a good plan. <laughs> But I wouldn't say that it's like a make it or break it for me because once it's on my lips, I really don't smell it at all. So it kind of like sets down and then I don't notice that I have to actually like sniff the product. But yeah, the formula on this is really kind of interesting. Like it starts out very similar feeling to the NYX soft matte lip creams to me. So it's kind of that like moussey, silicone -y sort of feeling on the lips. And it does get on your teeth, or at least it got on my teeth, big time. So be careful with that. But then it sets down. Um, it takes a while for it to set down. Like I don't even know how long, but it, it takes a while for it to set. But then once it does set, it's more of a matte lipstick type of a feel on the lips. So you have to be okay with that matte feeling. But I really like it once it sets. Like I don't feel like this is gonna get on my teeth. I don't feel like it's gonna move. I feel like it's still pretty comfortable, but I'm okay with matte lipstick sort of formulas but I don't know I kind of do like it minus the scent which is terrible minus that I do really like the formula of these and I would definitely consider getting more shades all right guys so those are all the new goodies that I found at the drugstore recently so I hope that you really enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what things you have been spotting in the drugstore recently have you picked any of them up if you have what are you thinking about them I always enjoy hearing your thoughts and opinions ask me any questions that you have I'm happy to answer those please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video